in Transylvania, four celebs are about to witness a secret ceremony of the undead. We have a dead person. Wait, a real dead per like an actual dead person? There'd be a coffin. Yes, that's, that's right. We're helping. Is that okay? Yeah, uh, well, I don't know. Is that, is it, like, I don't get it. There's an actual person. Don't go on that detail too much, okay? It's quite important detail, though. To guide the soul into the light, we stake right through his heart. He needs help. Go on, Dan. Yeah. Oh, man, this has got funny. This is frigid. Come on. Dad, hit it. Sure. It. Hit it. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, what are we doing? Wait. Hard. I can't do it. I'm oh, sorry, it. buddy. What's going to happen? Ah! Romania, babes. Bursto, Stoppo, Dracula. This Halloween, we've sent four celebrities on the road around Romania in search of the legend of Count Dracula. <laughs> Over the next three nights, Bobby Norris, Four. Dan Osborne, Chris Hughes and Mark Francis. I'm going to go and find a glass of champagne. We'll be taking in the sights. <laughs> amazing. Where is she? He's looking for someone in particular. And testing their limits. Come on, you lazy shit. Come on, let's get up. Let's get on with it. You're giving me illnesses. But of course, with five star comforts. Well, not quite, Mark. Travelling in a classic camper van from Bucharest to Transylvania. It's like Scooby Doo. They'll be finding out if vampires exist and where to find them. Follow my lead. Oh, my God! Don't you... Oh, my God! What the... No, this ain't funny. You are a bunch of ridiculous sissies. Who's ready for vampire boot camp? Thank you, babe. I nearly impaled myself. No Vlad required. These women claim to be the most powerful witches in Europe. It's a place in which magia is practiced when the world is... Four celebs travelling across Romania in search of vampires. Quite distasteful, really. I love it. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, my God! Oh, oh. Shaking like a shitting dog. Our boys are starting in Bucharest, where the first challenge is locating their transports. Stop, stop, stop. The driver said he would meet us here. And where's Bobby? Where's Bobby? And finding Bobby. Here she is. Here she is. Come on, then. Look at you. What are you wearing? We're in Romania, babes. When in Romania, dress as a Roman. Lovely to see you, buddy. And Jay boy. How are you? <laughs> it's all right, Mr. Francis. Hello. Bob, you look like a proper warrior. This is wicked. How sweet of Bobby to make an entrance in a plastic skirt. Bobby, 
Romania. I thought Roman was Romanian. No, but... Different countries, different cities, different outfits. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, you're dressed as a Roman, Bob. Are you, you're proper ready, aren't you? Oh, I'm ready. Bring on witches, bring on the old ghosts, Witchcraft, the vampire. wizardry. Anyway, where is the driver? And one can hardly be expected to stand around in a car park. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is oh, this it? Oh, my God. This is us. This is for us, guys. Yes! I this can't. is awesome. Oh. <laughs> Little camper van looked about 412 years old, turns up. The Vampire oh. Tour! Yes, come on, guys. This is it. Transylvania. Yeah. Transylvania Express. Transylvania Amazing. Express. Love that. Firsto Stoppo Dracula. OK. OK? Understand. Good man. Come on, Mark. Finally, they are on the road. But the road to where? Lads, according to the map, Romania is a very, very, very large country. To be honest, I had absolutely no idea. Don't worry, I've been to the old uh, shop at the airport and I bought a phrase book. Imi Pudeke do a casa into care. That means, can I have a helmet? Hey. Bobby, refrain. This outfit should come with a helmet, but I couldn't get it through. I was only allowed 20 kilos on the case. Before the road trip, I thought we were going to Budapest. We're looking for vampires and Dracula. Don't be so absurd. There's no such thing. There's got to be. What do you mean, there's no such thing? Of course there's such a thing. So where's his mythical home? Transylvania. How far are you to Transylvania, excuse me? Yes, Cor Transylvania. According to the map, it's about 12 inches. Quite far. That's efficient. No, 12 inches ain't a bad, uh, ain't a bad ride. What other phrases would we need to know? Please don't bite me. <laughs> what about Marmo Ratisho? That means I'm lost. Well, you'll be saying that a lot. We are already. Marmo Rotisho? Excuse me. No. We need someone to explain to you the truth behind this, this creature. It sounds like the boys are going to need a steer in the right direction. Here she, right, is. Here she is. Come on, man. Look at you. What are you wearing? The celebs are on the road, but not quite sure where to go. Lads, according to the map, Romania is a very, very, very large country. So they've enlisted the services of a vampire virtuoso. We're here to meet the doctor. The doctor is a very highly acclaimed expert He's a doctor. all things Dracula. Have you bought a seat just so you can view the house and make an offer, Mark? One for the portfolio. It looks a little dilapidated. Doctor. Hi. Hello. How are you? Chris, lovely How to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Thank you so much for seeing us. You're welcome. You see, we're very inquisitive young men. My friends would like to know a little more about the myth, as I have been trying to explain, of Dracula. Which Dracula? We have two of them. Eh? Oh. We have a historical Dracula, which is a Romanian medieval prince, and we have a fictional Dracula. I legit got on that plane thinking Vampire Dracula was real. Not quite, Bobby. There is the Dracula we know and love from books and movies. And the 15th century Prince of Wallachia, Vlad the Impaler, also known as Vlad Dracula. So what exactly does Dracula mean? If that's given as a nickname... It means the son of the devil. Son of the devil? Gosh, son of the devil. Like an actual dog. What is, like, a, a devil? OK, his father was also called Vlad, was nicknamed the Devil. He was a member of the medieval order of knights, the Order of the Dragon, and he was always wearing a, a draw of a dragon on his coat. Ah, oh, OK. The ordinary people saw the dragon and they said, whoa, this must be the Devil. So he was nicknamed Vlad the Devil. Ah. Now, his son, also Vlad, he was nicknamed both the Impaler, but also Dracula, which means Vlad, son of Vlad the Devil, the Impaler. Excellent. Uh, a great dinner party guest, don't uh, you think? What's an impaler? I thought, is he asthmatic? Well, um, because he liked to impale people. 
impaled. It was his favourite punishment. Do you like to be impaled? I don't know what that's that means. The that's got to Think be the, about it. That's got to be the teeth thing. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, it's not. Impalement means putting a stick up your uh, Arse. what's and yeah. Arse. up your what? Uh, Bum. Behind and Bum. through their bums. Exactly. And, and then you're, you're sort of held upon it. Like what, a statue. I mean, you'd stay there. Vlad was so fond of impaling his enemies, he once had 20,000 people impaled in one day. Good grief. Vlad, being the ruler of Wallachia, he liked to impale people in order to set an example. And is he still about now? He's unfortunately dead since 1476, but he's still very popular. Um, unfortunately dead. Yeah. So are vampires real or not? It depends who you ask. People used to be very superstitious in these parts of the world, and so they would sometimes believe that members of the family or friends would come back from the dead and haunt them. In the Cotswolds, there are some strange beliefs, but none like there are regarding vampires in Romania. I love a ghost stunt, me, always. Uh, well, it's not quite a ghost. You just meet someone who sits on a table like us five seats, yeah. and you just chat and become very good friends. And at that moment, the person stands up from the table and goes, but you would say that he went somewhere, but actually disappears. What? what? And this happens one night, second night, three nights, until you realize that you're actually talking to someone who's going back to the grave. No there were still people who would believe that this happened. There were still some cases in some parts, in some strange villages. Traditional tales of Eastern European undead and reports of vampirism were popular in the 19th century and inspired Count Dracula's supernatural powers. So we've come all the way out to Romania and we, if we wanted to go and find a vampire of some sort or something about vampires, where do we go? Well, you should travel to the villages in the countryside, maybe in the Carpathians, see if the villagers there still had uh, experiences of some sort. Usually in Western Europe, they would attack people and suck their blood out of their bodies. In Eastern Europe, so the Eastern European undead is actually draining the vital energy out of you. So they really did have people that suck blood out of people? That really happened? Um, well, they thought it happened. Sucking people's blood, ridiculous. During the night time, you should be very cautious talking to certain people. So people can come back from the dead, but what I want to know, Doctor, is, is there any way I can stop them and send them back? I think, uh, um... Mm. Knife through the heart? A knife through the heart, yes. So, so that's, that is, that's real, then? In that's the, the, in the movies? Kill them off, isn't it? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, this part of the movies is based on real, uh, that's, so real that's superstitions, real. if we can call them real superstitions, yes. So what's the coup with garlic? It's said to protect against vampires. Like a detergent. Oh, Chris. I think you mean deterrent. I like it on a little bit of garlic bread sometimes, but I don't do the clove, because I can't take the paper stuff off. Whilst we had a doctor in the house, I thought I'd have a little word in his shell like, now in other news, have you got anything you can prescribe for travel sickness? Sorry, no. I'm not that kind of doctor. <laughs> I'm intrigued even more now because there's a siege of truth somewhere and that's what we've got to get to the bottom of. So I think we should head into the country, head a bit more up north into the mountains and uh, see if we could maybe even find one ourselves. If I have to step forward with my dagger and stab it through the heart, whether it's a dagger, whether it's a wooden spear, whether it's an arrow, I will do that. Darkness, mythical creatures, dangerous weapons, none of this frightens me in the slightest. What does is the provincial mentality. So if there's anything that's really going to worry me this weekend, it's the village people. What, these village people? I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free, no subscription required. After finding out about the possible dangers they might face, decide some more training might be required. After seeing the doctor, I think we uh, we need to get a bit of boot camp in. Good idea. We're going to call it vamp camp. I think we're going to have to figure out how we're going to we're going to kill him off. And he said stab through the heart is the only way to finish him off. Yeah. So I think it's time to practice because I ain't ready to get eaten yeah. or attacked by anything. 
How do you propose we do that? Don't you worry about that. We are going somewhere right now. You got something up your sleeve, though? I've got something up my sleeve. I've never trusted a man who wears a sleeveless top. Because like sleeves should always be present and long. Short sleeves. I'm a little worried because I don't like the idea of going camping and I don't like the idea of vampires. So, vamp camp is really my idea of hell. We're not going camping, it's a boot camp. What's the. I don't like boots, it's hot, it's summer. Oh, what wow. are we going to do wearing boots? Well, we are going to introduce boots you. Boots in a camp. We're going to I introduce mean. you to the real world. I despise the idea of the We real might even world. get a little bit muddy. To be absurd. What do they say? Fail to prepare, prepare to, to fail. fail. So if we can get there, get a little bit of practice in, because I tell you what, I've not got a very good aim. So when it comes to the stake, if I can have a little go, yeah. we've got half a chance. Of course we are. So I'd really appreciate if you took part, give it your all. And, uh, Dan, I'm in, buddy. Perfect. Oh, in. I've signed up, mate. Perfect. Bring it on. Vamp camp. Which Dracula? We have two of them. I feel like we might need some protection boys tonight. They've had their history lessons. Vlad, being the ruler of Wallachia, he liked to impale people in order to set an example. Hey? Ow. Oh. Now it's time for some physical education. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Who's ready for Vampire Boot Camp? Oh, let's have it. Bob's ready. Bob's ready. Bob's ready. Mercy, my friend. Oh, ready. Ready. Let's do it. The first activity at Vamp Boot Camp is archery. Perfect for vanquishing those vamps at a safe distance. So, what do you reckon? I reckon we've got to make two teams, as we have two targets. And I think it's only right that I team up with my Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. No, I, absolutely agree. Agree. Yeah. I think that's a very good idea. Safety is paramount. Bobby should not be allowed near anything sharp, let alone bows and arrows. What a thought. Right, guys, I know Dracula isn't real, but I kind of believe in vampires. 100%. They're true, aren't they? Yeah. You think people eat people and drink their blood? Yeah, I think in the whole fact we like the garlic bread and the cross and stuff like that. Makes sense, doesn't it? And what's the thing about, is it like daylight? He don't come out in the day, he only comes out at night. Yeah, I think he's got bad eyesight. But do you think it's a bit of a coincidence that they only come out when everyone's asleep? No, I think that's the best time to come out. If you've uh, got you to know, come out and buy something. The lighting is so much more flattering in the evening. Is it? On a real, I feel like we've got to be really serious about this. Dracula, um, he can fly, can't he? Oh, yeah, he's got a cape and everything. He's got wings, isn't he? Yeah. That's I have capes and tree. I can't fly. I'm always in a cape. You do love a cape. To be fair, you do, and you love a jumper over your shoulders, don't you? On occasion. Yeah, occasions. Is that your cape? The jumper? Yes. yes. Oh, sort cool. of miniature cape. It's a day cape. It's beautiful. Uh, occasions yeah. being every day as well, Marcus. Yes, quite. Yeah, of course. Bless him. I feel like you're not with it. I feel like you're just a bit flaky at the minute. <laughs> I will not be told I'm flaky. Not flaky. You should bit... be listening to your <laughs> professor. I'm listening, but I just want to make sure my teammates are right. I'll be better when you stop <laughs> creasing my shirt. Creasing my shirt. I had a little bit of a mare trying to hook the eye on and then trying to get the balance. What target are, are just any? We go, we go, uh, I aim in the middle, Bobby. You might hit one on the other side. Anything right. further than you, I think, will be a, a, a success. You don't sound very confident in me, Mark Francis. Perhaps not. That'll be why. Dan, right. stepping into the Fingers me, just, just above there, yeah? Pull back. God, I'm really scared. More, more, more. Pull it, pull it back, Bob. More, pull it back. More. Go. Oh, my oh, God, that's back. good. It, 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 it left the left arrow. Do you know what? It went past him, but you almost oh. killed him. Ready? Three. There's someone in the background. Stop. Oh, someone in the background. Oh, God, You're yeah. going to hit him, are you? He, oh, yeah, that's Dracula. I wouldn't expect a vampire to be wearing a tracksuit, certainly not in cobalt blue. Oh. Well done, Dan. I five that shun. Shot down. I mean, we straight got, as well. We've we, took him out. That'd be his eyes. We've got Go something. On. What's that? Good shot. But if it's not in the heart, it doesn't count. To kill it, it's got to go through its heart. That's the hair. Right, it's Mark. entirely pointless. No, Mark's right. It's Look, real. I got the target. Danny's right, though. Oh, right, let's round up the arrows. I want another go. Dan, you going. can't settle for the target. I'm not going until I get You ain't killing anything with that. Where did they all go? Getting, they all went behind, but I'm getting them all. I need to do it again. Yeah. Do people have to go and get their own arrows? They're really shit, aren't they? What a chore. Oh. Feels right. 
Do you feel like in a past life you was one of these? I feel like I men? could be Robin Hood. This is the first time I've ever done it. Am I your maid Marion? Aim a little bit lower. You right there, boys? It's what? the blowing. It's coming. Mark was the best. What can I say? I mean, let's face it, it's probably a Saturday afternoon activity in Chelsea. Oh, my God, that actually weren't bad. I'm very competitive. I wanted to be the best at shooting the arrow. I feel like, um... Mark! Mark, you're on fire! Mark, that was good. What's that guy's what? name? Part-time work. What's the guy's name? Rides a horse. Uh, Long black hair. Puss in boots? No. Pole dark. Oh. Ooh, Chris. Go on, Chris. Boys, we, me and Mark came with the rule that loser has to fetch arrows at the end. Oh, yes, I'm not picking anything up. But there's nothing to pick up, really, because they're all on the board. Is that it? <laughs> yes. Oh, you're devil. That was That's the right height. Shot. Fucker. I'm going to get you, you little bastard. Good shot, but you did completely miss. You were slate in my shots. Nah. And... Oh, my God. Oh, my he God. He just hit him in the belly. That was a nip. Oh. So close. That was the so nip. So close to the heart. Mark, do you know what you're like? Tell me. Little John, and I'm Robin Hood. Little? Little John. I don't want to be anything little. You'd be, you'd be fry tuck there, Mark, boy. Oh, I can see myself as an ecclesiastical figure. Boys, arrows, please. They're good, man, yeah, might as well. Very good. Archery hasn't quite hit the mark, so Dan has another idea. If you watch the vampire movies, every single film, stake through the heart. Yeah. So let's go do the next activity. What kind of steak are we talking? We're talking medium rare, little bit of peppercorn. No, I'm talking like steak through the heart. I reckon this could be my bag. Right, the next task is, and I ain't taking no jokes here, right? If we're going to bump into vampires, we want to know how to finish Watermelon them. Watermelon martinis. Listen, this is all we've got. It's we're a not great idea. We're not, we're not having martinis. Where are the glasses? The steaks, right. What? So here's the steaks. It's a pencil. It's like a pencil. Sharp pencil. I'll give you that. A big, sharp pencil. And you've got to stake him straight through the head. I know we're going to aim for the heart. I think that's if very we do common. Bump. The thing is, this is second best. This is because the archer has failed, because we didn't actually get him in the heart. This is what we've got to do. So do we hold this? This isn't a throwing thing. Nah, we hold this well. OK. Hold it. You two are going to go first. Pass me what a steak, do... babes. I'm going to do him. Wait. No. No, no. He was worried about getting watermelon juice on his loafers. Well, what happens if the vampire attacks you before he can decide Don't be to so attack ridiculous. us? No, but he might do. Oh, no vampire would go for me first. Marcus. Look at me. Marcus, please. No. Look, we don't need arguments, guys, because if we get... If, what, if someone comes for us now and we're stood here... Like... I'm starting to feel like Mark's a bit of a weak link. There are no good dry cleaners in Bucharest. Everyone knows fruit stains are impossible to remove. Oh, if I, have to I don't want dirt. Look, you're taking an arrow in the face. OK, well, very well. Let's just get on with it. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. be dead by now, Right, though. if you're about to stab a vampire in the heart, he's not going to stand still and let you do it. So we are going to swing the watermelons. Oh, I feel like this could be a bit of me in terms Definitely. of... I'm no good with the kind of no. pulling it back, but this I might be a little bit better. No, you'd rather but... something that doesn't require technique, but more aggression, more sort of... Mark, what are you trying to say? You're very, very sort of manly. Yes. Nice. But yeah. you like you like sticking it in rather than pulling back. I like sticking it, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Right, fire the fucker up. Bob, Bob, how much do you want to kill him? I want to kill the fucker! Thank yes, you! Bobby. Kill him, Bob. Go, Bob! Bob, Fuck kill him! Oh, Bob, 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 kill him! gentle with him. When Bobby started out on that watermelon, he started off very gently, and I was thinking, go on, Bobby. Before you know it, I was going ten to the dozen. Smash him, Bob! Oh, well done. Oh, Was that good? Yes, yeah, well good. Yeah, scared well, me. I didn't even get a splinter. Oh, my God, it's unbelievable. Butch Bob is definitely in there. So tell me, boys, rate me out of ten. Was it a good it technique? Was good. Bob, I think you got better. I think you went in a little bit soft, but then once you made a hole in his head... I've yeah. got Ardra and Ardra. You've got Ardra and Ardra. I think yeah. this mess could have happened in two strikes. Boys, do you know what? There's a perfectly good watermelon there. I think this is the perfect time for you two to spit roast it. You reckon? Both get involved. Smash. Get your wood in your hand. Smash. Go on, boy. The boys took it to another level. They had a physical full-on fight with a watermelon. Ready? Fuck it, let's go. Nutted. Oh, mate, he's nutted him at all. Go, go on! <laughs>
What happened was we did some damage, but it didn't end there. We started getting aggressive with it on the floor and hitting it, and we kind of just got well into it too much, probably a bit too extreme. Take him down. Boy, he's had enough, he's had enough. We're fucking good at this. Can we beat him? Well done, mate. Buzzing. Well done, lads. We treated that watermelon like he had just cussed my mum. <laughs> He's fucked. I fucked him. <sighs> what do you think, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did it, Mark. Give us a cuddle. Well done. Give us a cuddle. Yeah, yeah, well done. Oh, we no, did no, it. That's great. No, don't Come even here. think about it. Come Come on. On. Think about it. Come here. No. If people even just occasionally listened, they wouldn't get themselves into these most embarrassing situations, covered in watermelon juice. Mark, that's the way it's got to be. When the vampire strikes, we've got to get in there. You've got to roll around in the Very dirt. good. Well, I'm, I'm so glad that I uh, proved myself a competent archer. Dracula, Schmacula, we've got this. Bring on the castle. Oh, I think it's lunchtime. Do you? Yes. I could have a snack, to be fair. Let's have a break. Watermelon, anyone? After a quick bite, Bobby has a different kind of preparation in mind for their vampire vacation. Right, guys, let's have it right. We're obviously dealing with some dark forces. Tell me about it. We're in one. And I feel like what we need is protection. So, what I've decided to do is what Hire I... Hire a Rolls Royce. No, babe, you've got to get over the car. I mean, I'm scared as well. I am taking you to meet some legit Romanian gypsy witches. Is that really necessary? I have to say, this was a moment of enlightenment. I didn't actually think witches existed. I thought they were the stuff of fables. I feel so. I feel like Why? we need protection. I They're like not going to protect you. They're going to sell your kidneys. Witches curse, you know. Oh, no, not if you get a good witch. Bob, they got that stew they cook. You know, when they... The potion. The potion, yeah. Yeah, with your Have body parts. Oh, I've got a feeling they'll be knocking up a protection potion for us if That's we ask good. them we'll nicely. Take a bit of that away. in it. But I love a good witch. I see a witch more than people see hairdressers. Yeah. Legit, every six weeks I go and see a little witch. So I feel like more so than ever, when in Romania, we yeah. have to really protect ourselves because I tell you what, these forces are dark. But these women claim to be the most powerful witches in Europe. I don't believe that. Well, how All many, how many of witches Europe. are in Europe? There's a few, to be fair. There's some in Scotland. You ever seen Macbeth? No. Awesome. It's Shakespeare, yeah. Throughout history, witches have been persecuted across Europe and America. But in Romania, witchcraft is thriving. I don't want you to be scared, though, because this is a positive thing, and although they might tell us and warn us and probably mark our card about some negativity we might face, yeah. Ultimately, they're going to protect us. I just want to see what they look like. Are you boys down for trying the magic potion? Yeah, what, drinking it? Well, not if it's made out of your body parts. Oh, well, I'm not giving up no body parts, You babe. may have no choice. Is that what we're doing, Bob? Drinking it? I don't know if we're drinking it or bathing in it or maybe rubbing it on our heads. Sounds lovely. The boys are meeting the witches at their house, just north of Bucharest. Here we are, guys. Gracias. Thank Adios. you, boss. Thank you. Adios. Should we buzz her first? She probably knows we're coming. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good evening, Mark. Uh, Mihaela, the witch Mihaela. I thought they'd look different to what they were. I thought they'd have like long hair, like big noses, like the occasional spot on their face. But they didn't have any of that. They're actually quite beautiful. Uh, I see. să vă duc la altarul ritualurilor mele, unde eu fac pregătirea pentru binecuvântare și pentru apărare, protecție. Împotriva spiritelor rele. Haideți, vă rog. The altar, this way. Lovely. 
Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Intrat, mamă. Haideți. Haideți. Asta e bine cuvântarea precum că a intrat cineva pentru ritualurile noastre. Bine ați venit. When I saw the altar and she started ringing her bell, I thought, ah, she's kosher. Mahela, I'm really hoping you can help us and offer us some protection because we're here on a journey and I think we're all a little bit worried about some negativity or dangerous things we might come across. Bineînțeles, sunt o vrăjitoare puternică. Împreună cu fiicele mele, voi face un ritual special ca să fiți protejați și apărați pe tot parcursul călătoriei voastre în România. We're told we're going to the witch's lake and she gives all the other guys some crosses and she gives me this weapon with spikes on it in a massive round head. It's maybe a substitute for something. Dumneatale acesta. Thank you. Așa, dumneatale vei primi ăsta. Thank you. Doamne ajută. Amin. Amen. Să fie bine cuvântare și să fie multă bucurie și multă rezolvare. Aveți drum lung de făcut. Astea sunt pentru noroc. Da, le vom descânta, le vom bine cuvânta în ritualurile noastre de la lacul vrăjitoarelor. Hai, Doamne ajută să fie cu leac și cu bucurie. Să meargă la ritual, la descântece, ca să aibă bine cuvântare și să aibă mulțumire și rezolvare. The ceremony will be performed after dark, deep in the woods, at the witch's lake. But first, the boys must get themselves there. This road trip is getting ridiculous. I'm petrified. Our brave boys are traveling deep into the Romanian woods to receive their protective blessing. Guys, I feel like we're getting deeper and deeper into the arse soul of the woods. Wait, you, can't, you can't actually see anything in front of us. What should the itch rate? Is There's a big way. Use the lanterns. Wait, I can't actually see. They're shaking like a shitting dog. No one knows where we are. No. Bobby was struggling at this point. I hope you've taken your sunglasses off, Bobby. Yeah, I've got He's me. changed them for the normal lens. Do you know what? Oh. My signal's just gone on my phone and all. It's just gone? Yeah, the signal's gone. Don't tell us that. Look. I think the boys was equally as scared as me. Bob, I look after you. You've got to grab hold of you. I'm here for you. A bit of moral support. Thank you, Chris. Well, what about me? I'm wearing the wrong kind of footwear and no one seems to give a damn. I feel like you're... I feel like I'm you're... I'm sinking. You're just... Marky boy, you're just, just lagging behind a couple I'm of I'm in a tasseled suede loafer. Yeah, Mark was just more concerned about his clothes getting dirty. I was in suede shoes. If you can attack a watermelon in them, you can do anything. Să fiți apărați de magie, de spirite, de strigoi, de vampiri, eliberați și binecuvântați. Sean, tu mi-o dui pe partea, dui pe partea. Haideți! În altarul ritualurilor nostru, să fiți apărați și protejați de magie, și de spiritele rele eliberați, de vampiri. Să rămâneți curați și luminați. Pu, amin. It's a little bit nervy. I just want to look after Bobby, make sure he's okay. Me and Mark are just going to keep up the rear, just to It's very, make sure very fine. beautiful. So we find this clearing and we see what the witches have set up for us. A lot of candles. A lot of what you'd expect, really, but it's going to give you the chills a little bit. Noi vom începe ritualul și pregătirea pentru a îndepărta spiritele diavolului, spiritele strigoiului, al vampirilor, să aveți cale deschisă și drumuri curate și luminate pe parcursul călătoriei voastre, să fiți binecuvântați și apărați. Amin. Amen. Amen. Să rămâneți curați și luminați în știrea Maicii Domnului dați. Amin. 
Mănăstirea Maicii Domnului. V-am descântat, de spiritele răului v-am eliberat. De descântat am descântat, de spiritele răului v-am îndepărtat. Amin. Amin. Să rămâneți curați, luminați. Să rămâneți curați, luminați. Ca apa din fântână. Ca apa din fântână. Ca busuiocul din grădină. Ca busuiocul din grădină. De spiritele diavolului. De spiritele diavolului. Al strigoiului. Al strigoiului. Al vampirilor. Al vampirilor. Eliberați. 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 Amin. 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 Tu, apă curată din izvoare adunată, să le luminezi calea, să le luminezi cărarea, să le luminezi dragostea, iubirea, să fie binecuvântați, să fie apărați în știrea Maicii Domnului dați. Amin. Ia coșul și pune plantele ca să fiarbă în ceaun. Licoarea de protejare și de apărare. Protejare, de apărare. Say everyone uh, his name. Done. Yes. And you and you. Bobby, Mark, and Chris. crucea asupra lor, ca să fie cu leac, să fie cu bucurie și să fie cu mulțumire. Acum să se întindă fosforile, ca să aibă apărare, să se întindă toate farmecele. Cum să întinde pânza, să se întindă vraja, să se întindă făcătura, n-a cocoțe Casandru. Adunați-vă puterile și toate spiritele să se adune toate blestemele și să fugă. Pe butucim butucite de mii de ani părăsite. Să fie apărați, să fie scăpați în știrea Maicii Domnului dați. Ritualurile și descântecele noastre să aibă leac, să aibă bucurie, să aibă mulțumire. Cum să învârte roata vrăjitoarelor și vra, roata magiei? Să rămână spiritele să se ducă să se îndepărteze. Doamne Aici ajută, este doamne licoarea ajută. care va fierbe cu plantele noastre miraculoase la ceas de noapte pentru a îndepărta toate spiritele rele din calea voastră. Să ardă focul și să ardă rău. Să rămâneți curați, luminați în știrea Maicii Domnului Dați. Și adu liniște și apărare. Pentru numele lor, pentru sufletul lor, pentru gândul lor, pentru inima lor, aprindeți măturile și le stingeți în licoare. Să se stingă vraja, să ridicați în sus. Să se stingă vraja, să se stingă făcătura și trimisătura. Să plece toată energia, să fugă spiritele rele și toate blestemele. Amin. Stingeți vraja, stingeți făcătura. Să se stingă toată trimisătura. Să aveți liniște, să aveți apărare. Pu! Năcurați și luminați în știrea Maicii Domnului. I don't like being touched. Certainly not by dirty broomsticks that were up in flames moments ago. Turn around. Back. Pe lângă ducă și înapoi să nu se mai întoarcă. Nici acum, nici altă noastră. I don't know if I can speak. Pu! Amin! Trage lumânarea. I've never quite witnessed anything like it. I'm not to say I've loved psychics since I was young, but um, this is just another level. Să fugă demonul pentru totdeauna. Fug cu toată inima și cu toată credința. Să aveți apărare. Dă-te încoace. Pu, pu, pu. Amin. Să nu se lipească nimic de voi. Pe parcursul călătoriei voastre să plece demonii, să plece spiritele, să plece făcătul. Amin. Să fiți protejați, să fiți eliberați de știrea Maicii Domnului dat. Ca să aveți o protecție și mai mare, v-am pregătit niște talismane. Talismanele noastre vă va ajuta să fiți apărați și eliberați de tot răul care va veni în jurul vostru. Să plece și să fiți binecuvântați și de magie scăpați. Amin. Doamne ajută. I didn't understand what I was saying, but I believed it. I heard you mention the vampires are we protected now. Sunteți protejați. Se întorc invers în în sicriu, ies din cimitir și bântuie lume. Însă noi avem Tu să pleci. Să plece, să plece spiritele. Este în jurul nostru spiritele rele, dar noi le vom îndepărta. Așa e bine. 
să se ducă, să se ducă. Așa, e bine să, să fii vesel în ritual Lenin. ca să plece toate rele. To protect you from vampires, that's a good start, lads. I didn't once think, okay, I'm just sat in the middle of a forest like an idiot. I was really kind of invested. Oh, your hair. Oops, there go the extensions. I thought the whole ceremony was quite pointless. Care îți va purta noroc, nu numai în România, și pe tot parcursul vieții. Thank you. Acesta este al tău. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Și acesta este al tău. Mersi. Să vă aducă noroc, să vă aducă bucurie, să vă aducă mulțumire. Așa se. You'd think you'd been handed a rough diamond. Instead, it was, it was a pebble at best. Amin, Doamne ajută, așa să fie. Puf, leac. O, Doamne, ajunge. It all appeared quite fascinating, quite charming, very um, provincial. Basically, just blessed us, protecting us from any vampires or any any dark forces that we're going to come across in this journey. I came away with this, which I've already got on my necklace, and this is going to protect me. And there was times I felt calm and emotional and at peace. Then I'd get scared again. I um, I feel like I've been on a a roller coaster of emotion. I don't know about you guys, but that gave me the shivers and the chills. Great backdrop. It was unbelievable. Beautiful. I think that's the most surreal thing I've ever done in my life. Ever. Really? What yeah. is? Where's the back? Well, it must be here somewhere. Oh, shit. It was it. Shit dead. I ain't even got signal to get an Uber. Oh, shit.